Joel, did you feel like the game progressed? You got more into a rhythm as you kind of shook off whatever rest you may have had, stayed away for a couple of games. Did you think you were getting more and more into a rhythm each time, each deep as you've been um, No. Um, you know, uh, I think uh, I came in with a mindset to uh, get my teammates involved. Uh, because of, you know, everybody has had it going and, you know, they've been playing so well. So I just wanted to keep that going and, you know, find myself playing within. I mean, we've always had the system. I think, you know, lately they've been moving the ball, you know, they've been making shots. So, and then we've been playing great defense. So I just wanted to come in and, you know, just, you know, fit in and, you know, trying to make sure that everybody, uh, keeps doing what they've been doing uh, because they've been doing a great job, and uh, you know, and then in you know some, you know some ways, uh, you know whenever I was needed, that's when I felt like I needed to turn it on. Man, they've been doing so good. Um, I think they've just been, you know. Trusting each other, um, you know, even before I got hurt, I think, you know, the way we were playing, then we were playing together, uh, you know, just moving the ball, uh, you know, making sure everybody touches the ball. And, uh, you know, obviously the last four games, um, you know, they've been playing on another level. Uh, and defensively and offensively, I think our offense has been so good because of our defense. Um, so I think that's the reason why we, we, we've been winning all these games. In defense, um, what did you see on that possession where you got the steal late that didn't, didn't completely steal the game but was obviously a, a big play for you guys? Uh, I mean, in that situation, um, you know, from the start of the play, uh, you know, he could tell, he thought, we were going to trap him. Uh, they were going to try to set a screen for him uh, to try to get me on them. And uh, we were going to go one through five anyway, so I would have to guard him uh, straight up anyways. But uh, the way I you know, positioned myself, I acted like we were going to trap him and try to take the ball out of his hands. And you know, as the best player on the team, you want the last shot and you want to be able to make the last plays uh, to make sure that your team wins. And uh, in that situation, uh, that's why he ended up sending uh, whoever I was guarding away to try to go one on one. And, you know, I just tried to play cat and mouse game where I felt like, you know, I've, I had him thinking that he had a wide open love uh, while at the same time, you know, I knew I was giving that space for a reason uh, because, you know, I, like I said, I watch a lot of games. Uh, he's not selfish. He didn't make that type of play uh, if someone is open. So, you know, I was just trying to bait him, and uh, he did work. And, you know, in some instances, uh, he doesn't work. He could have been a bad player, you know, a bad read by me. But in that situation, he did work, so I was happy. Well, what, the last, what has the last week been like for you since – Minnesota game with your foot and all? Uh, it's been hard. Uh, I'll say probably the, the following two days uh, after I got hurt uh, because I was uh, extremely worried about what it might have been, and, you know, because I, I couldn't walk. Uh, so, um, you know, I was just happy that, you know, it wasn't you know, as bad as uh, I thought it was, and I wasn't able to uh, miss a lot of time. I'm proud of you the way your team's been able to kind of persevere and turn things around a bit. You know, you being out, James, Tyrese, you know, Tobias missed a bunch of time. You guys are still on seven and nine. You're playing great defense. Like, what is um, it? What is it been it's like a, to a testament to our coaching staff. Uh, obviously, the players have been doing a great job. Got to give a lot of credit to guys like Shake, uh, you know, that, you know, for, you know, guys coming in, they haven't gotten minutes all season, and, you know, they're just coming in, you know. Um, you know, I'm just proud of them because you know, they're, they're, they're ready. Uh, you could tell, you know, that you know they were waiting for this moment for them uh, for their name to be called. So, you know, I'm just proud. You know, we have, uh, uh, like I said, the first few games um, we we didn't play the way we wanted to, offensively and defensively. And if you remember at the beginning, right before the season, I. I Thought I, I said I wanted us to be the best defense in the league, which I think you know since really since I come, I've come back from injury, uh, I think we are the best defense in the league. Uh, that was the goal, 
And you know, those first few games, we weren't playing well defensively, and then offensively, the ball was taken uh, too much. So you know, obviously, uh, injuries happened, and you know, we had to make a lot, a lot of adjustments. Whether it's you know me becoming more of a playmaker, uh, and then we also got some guys that can handle and score the ball in Tobar shape. Uh, Tyrese before he got hurt, uh, you know, fuck. So I think it's all about, you know, just us playing together, coaching staff, you know, coach Doc and, you know, his staff, you know, they've been getting everybody ready, um, you know, just to, you know, make sure that, uh, you know, we come in and we do everything possible to win these games. I know you said you were trying, you trying to get everybody involved early on, but down the stretch when you took over and it kind of pulled you guys home, were you surprised they didn't try to double you really at all? Um, no, because um, it's hard and it's almost impossible to double uh, from the elbow. There's a reason why I don't post up as much as I used to post up. Um, you know, in the past, um, you know, there's a reason for that because in the post, uh, it's just easy to double. Uh, and uh, but, you know, at the elbow or the nail, you know, if you want to double, good luck. Someone is going to be wide open, and I have a better vision of the whole floor. Whether you know, depending on when they're doubling from, uh, someone is going to be open, and I can see everybody. So, in that situation, is they've been watching film. Like I'm sure the rest of the league uh, do, um, you know we run the same play, you know I, especially at the end of the game. Um, it's hard. I mean it's hard to double. I mean if you want to do it, go ahead. Uh, you know, uh, but it is hard, and you know you just gotta live with the results. And uh, tonight we were just fortunate to, uh, you know, knock down a couple of key shots. Everyone down the roster has been ready to step in and play the way that they have. Like, what what have you observed, like behind the scenes, as far as like the extra work those guys put in? You mentioned the coaching staff, obviously. Too. Like, what has sort of led to those guys being ready? Um, we have shootarounds every game, which is not okay. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but you know, knowing the history of uh, you know having coach uh, in the past, from what I heard. You know, in his old days, uh, you know, they, they didn't used to practice a lot. And, you know, we practice every day and we have shoot runs before every game, which is good. That's that's what you need to be able to win. But I think, you know, that goes into, you know, making sure everybody is ready and making sure everybody knows the plays, uh, making sure, you know, we keep that cohesion where everybody is on the same page, uh, depending on, you know, whether you play or not. Uh, you just got. You still got to know what you got to do. Uh, you know when you get on the floor. The last time Shea got the ball this month or this much was back in the bubble a couple of years ago. Where do you think his game has grown the most since then? Uh, I mean, I I think he's always been like that. Um, he's all about the the NBA is all about uh, opportunities. Uh, right now he's got a huge opportunity to uh, you know because he's extremely needed. Uh, you know we lost two of our ball handlers. Uh, he has a lot of responsibilities, you know, on his shoulders. But you know he's been doing such a fantastic job, and I, I think he's always had it. Uh, it's just about the opportunities. He just never had, you know. He had, you know, a couple chances, uh, but it's easier when you play regularly. Uh, you know, it's hard. Uh, I always pride myself on, you know, whether I miss time or not, I always pride myself on, you know, coming back and, you know, dominating. Uh, but for some other guys, uh, they need to, you know, play regularly to be able to show what they can do, I think. For for him and, you know, for the other guys that have been playing so well, it's just about the consistency of, you know, coming in, knowing their roles, knowing what they have to do to be able to help us win. Thanks, Joel.